Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the third video I'm doing in a set of videos on this boundary resolution we're working on uh, for a parcel, orchard parcel um, in Turlock. <clears throat> and uh, in the last video, we put in our second map and realized that uh, we got some issues here. We got a one foot overlap in the record compared to this monument we found. So we just we talked about that a little bit. So one thing I want to do uh, real quick before we get too far ahead is we want to just go ahead and note our anchor and rotation points on this second map. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is our anchor point for 39008 and that is not M504 that is M501 okay and then down here this is uh, M502 we held as our rotation point Ooh. got too many P's in my copy all right so All right, so this is M502, and we held that as our rotation point. This is for, uh, is that right, 3908? Yeah, except this is our anchor point up here, not our rotation point, so let's fix that. Okay. Okay, so we got one more submap to drop in here. It's our map to the north. Okay, so uh, we'll save our drawing and go ahead and insert that map. Again, just dropping that in as a block. Okay, so here it is. Just get it close. Again, my, my folks have uh, double kogoed this <laughs> for some unknown reason. So, uh, Let's uh, go ahead and edit that. All right. And we did find some, uh, we found some centerline mons up here. Um, so let me tell you where I think this goes. I think this point right here is this monument here. Okay. And I'm just going to put it there temporarily. All right. And I thought it, I thought it rotated there, but it doesn't look like it does. So I, I may be missing some information here. This might be some stuff on some interior streets that I need. So, um, and here's what I'm going to do on this too. It's a little bit tricky, but I, I basically want to call this monument on the, on the record line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come in here and draw a perpendicular line. Um, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to actually anchor to that point. Okay, because I'm going to say this this is less than a tenth. So I'm going to say I found the monument right here at the record position. Okay, but you can see I, I got something going on here, so I'm missing some ties. So uh, my, my folks didn't kogo everything I needed, which is okay. Sometimes you don't know until you get out there what you're going to need. So let's look at this map and see if we can figure it out. I'll pull it over so you guys can see it. Okay, so uh, I think I've got a couple monuments right here that, that aren't in my kogo. So that's on sheet five. Yeah, so I've got this five foot offset mon here. Um, on this curve Okay, so uh, I need to add that stuff in so let me pull this open real quick and uh, It's hard to do that uh, In this drawing once you once you start rotating stuff around you're not on the right basis of bearing so uh, Let's go open up that drawing directly And uh, we'll go add the We'll go add the uh, the ties that we need. So 
So again, I'm, I'm going into the actual source drawing here because it's on the same basis of bearing as my map. Now, one thing that's not clear to me looking at this map is if is this witness corner on the extension of this arc or is it on the radial here? Uh, he doesn't say, so that's not super helpful. Um, it's probably a small difference over a, just a five foot difference, but that could that could introduce some error. Um, so let's see what we got here. So this distance here is 1327. All right, so I'm just trying to figure out where I'm at here. That's 849. I got a 292. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, so this 676.89, okay, is uh, right in here is where our street's at. So I know I'm, I know I'm, uh, this is the edge of our sub. So let me go back to sheet, sheet five here. All right, so from the edge of our sub, I come over 292.93 feet. Okay, so from here, I go over 292.93 feet. All right, and then and then we can draw on some of these mob, these uh, bearings. So let's come over here and do that. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. My bearing is gonna be one zero zero point four seven three zero, and my distance is one seventy three point two eight. is not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to just draw the line. Uh, I'm still learning. Yeah, this isn't doing what I want. All right, let me get these two distances in. I don't want you guys to wait for me. All right, guys, sorry about that. So uh, I struggled with Carlson a little bit, but I got I got these lines in that I need. So I think we found a monument here on this five foot offset of this curve, and I think we found uh, this end of curve. So let's go ahead and save our, our drawing, our Kogo drawing. And uh, let's go back in here to boundary search. And uh, we're gonna insert this again as a block. And it's going to prompt me to overwrite. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, I want to redefine it. Okay, so here it is. Hopefully it's this is the drawing that's got the new line work in it. It does. All right, so <clears throat> here's what I think we found, guys. I think we found this monument here. So let's just try anchoring to that for now. And um, we're going to rotate. Rotate to this monument here. All right, so it doesn't fit perfect, but it fits pretty close. Let's see how we hit down here. Hey, you know, we could hit a little better. Uh, let's do our dim. So two tenths again, kind of talking about my measurement error there, right? If I want to be honest, um, let's do this. Let's. Uh, Sorry guys, let's rotate. Let's hold this uh, monument here, but we're gonna rotate down below. See if that how that fits. So you can see that that almost matches exact. That's that's a hundredth or two right there. Um, so I like that fit pretty good. It's gonna be off a little bit here, but that's okay. So let's just see how far it is. Uh, 
Okay, less than a tenth, again, my measurement error, so that's probably how I'm going to hold that. Okay, now, again, I bet this is our five foot. So we've got, we've got two center lines over here, I think, that are five foot apart on Warring Road. But let's just check that. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so uh, I'm pretty happy with this. All right, so essentially, I don't even really... This map to the north really doesn't do anything other than confirm that this... This map, subdivision map to the north, and this subdivision map to the west, when I have them positioned in the same pot, spot... When I have them positioned the way I do, give me essentially the same position for the north line. Okay, which is just good to know. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to make a note here that we copied these. I mean, uh, where we anchored and rotated these, sorry. Okay, so uh, this is M506, and it's the anchor point for this 47 map. 470, sorry, 44. I'm a little dyslexic, can you tell? 074. Okay. And then this is our rotation point for that map. Okay, so uh, I, I, I like our framework so far. I um, mean, you know, I got a little issue down here again with that one foot, but other than that, we, we, we fit pretty good. So what we've got now is we've got kind of this rectangle that bounds our, our parcel and the parcel on the west adjoiner. So we've got this rectangle here, okay? And what we have to do now is there's no maps on these two parcels, so we gotta go in and look at these two deeds and uh, figure out where to put this line, right? And that could be interesting, so we'll, we'll see what we got. And uh, we'll check that out in the in the next video.